you guys welcome back to a brand new video today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial since I've got no makeup on my face I look so pale and over that I'm ill so I overall am not having a good day whatsoever so today I'm gonna be doing a very exciting video and that's gonna be half pound lounge makeup and half high-end makeup so you guys will see the difference before and after and I'm gonna be testing out the pound shop makeup. And I went to the pound shop and I got myself a big bag of makeup so I'm, I'm actually really really super excited to be filming this because I've never ever tried um, like the pound shop makeup. Now I've got all of the pound shop makeup all in the bag today so half of my face is going to be pound shop and half of it is going to be high-end sort of um, makeup so we're going to be seeing the differences between both or maybe if there's no differences which i'm hoping there's not uh we'll be seeing that so if you guys want to follow me and um, then let's just get on with the video so this half of my face is going to be the pound shop and this half is going to be my normal makeup. start off on my normal makeup using the mac studio fix and this is an nc20 and so i'm going to be putting that on half of my face which will give that a go because that's going to be quite weird because I'm not used to doing half my makeup in my face with a certain product, but nevertheless, we're gonna give that a go. I desperately need some color on my face. I look so pale, it's unreal. Compared to my hands, like wow, the difference is. This is my real color, and this is when I get tanned. Like wow. <laughs> it feels so weird to do half your makeup. How do you do half your makeup? Half your face? Just do like a arrow here, like do not pause this. <laughs> and just a warning i do get a shade darker than i am because this paleness is unreal so i need a shade like darker than i am okay so this half of my face is the mac and now this half is gonna be trying the pound shop foundation Wish me good luck. Uh, my eyes are so, so watery. Uh, I just feel like total crap right now. And like, it looks like I'm crying, but honestly, I'm not crying. It's just like, uh, anyways, the foundation I've got to try on is, I got this in Shave Ivory One, and this is gorgeous, flawless, long lasting foundation with UVA and UVB filters. So this is how it looks. It, it promises a lot. So I'm looking forward to try this out. Again, I don't know if this is going to be the right shade for me, but it looked like when I tested it out in store, like against my cheek, it looked okay, but I mean, you just never know, do you? So um, from there, I got myself a foundation brush, and this is the makeup foundation brush, a makeup gallery that looks like this. Um, I thought I'd test it out, since it's only fair to test the makeup brushes out as well, because that's how you're going to apply it. This stupid flu. <laughs> So this is how it looks, um, I quite like the brushes, they look quite classy and it feels very firm, which is always a good thing. Anyways, let's try this foundation out, shall we? Oh, okay. It's very watery actually. Ooh, feels cold. But this actually looks like the right colour for me, which is actually a good thing. I didn't think it would be the right colour, but it seems quite okay, so, you know. Why not? Okay, so <laughs> I've added the slob on. We're gonna blend that in now. Oh, okay. This blends in quite, quite good actually. Who would have thought? Okay, I've just changed the contrast now to make it a bit darker so you guys can see. But can you see how patchy that looks on my face? Wow. Okay. This foundation actually looks very patchy on my face. Extremely patchy. Oh my days. Thing doesn't seem to be going right. Doesn't blend in properly at all. And you can see this side is very high coverage. Obviously the MAC is very high coverage. And this isn't high coverage at all. Like, at all. You can literally see some of my blemishes over here, so. Um, But then again, the MAC foundation is 22 pounds and the Pound Shop foundation is a pound. The foundation, um, that's the MAC and that's the Pound Shop one. Okay, so for powder, I am gonna be using the MAC Studio Fix and this is NC20 
This foundation costs $22.50 compared to the pound shop one that cost a pound. So the two differences, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques. I didn't get a, foundation, a powder brush from the pound shop because I couldn't really find any at all. They might have been out of stock. So I'm just gonna use the Real Techniques one for both. So this is my beloved MAC. I'm just gonna pat that down. Okay, so one side is done. We're gonna move on to the other side. And now we got this one, which is a makeup. Um, smoothly does it. Pressed powder. Ooh. And this is in shade a Honey Beige 3. So we'll see how this goes. Honestly, it just, 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 oh my god, can you see how much it's falling out? Nothing's coming off! Like, nothing is coming on my face, what the hell? I've literally dabbed so much right now. Can you guys see that? Nothing is coming off, Not there's no product coming off, the flipping thing. What the hell? It's clearly coming off from the hair, because you can see it flaking off, but there's nothing coming on my skin. Like, there's... Okay, so this is definitely a no-no because there's nothing coming on my skin. I don't think you guys can see it properly on there, but on my mirror, there's literally nothing. You can literally see the blemishes, full-on blemishes. So yeah, mate, you smoothly does it, you clearly don't smoothly do it for me, so that's a no-no. Okay, so we're now gonna move to bronzer because and contour because I need something on my face. So um, I went to um, pound shop and I found the matte bronzer matte light one and for that for my high end I'm gonna use Nars Laguna and this is the, the Nars Laguna cost 28 pounds compared to the pound shop one so these two are there's a massive difference between them 28 pounds one pound so let's see which one does it for me they really seal the pound shop <laughs> makeup really well Looks quite nice actually. All out with the brushes and I got myself a pound shop brush. And this one's called Makeup Angled Blush Brush. That looks like. So I'm gonna be testing that out to contour my face firstly. So this is the pound shop side. That's actually not bad, you know, that's quite decent. Funny enough, the product's actually coming off from here, but the powder just didn't wanna come off at all. Oh you guys, that's actually quite decent. I just need to blend that in properly, but that's actually decent. That's all right, you know. That's actually all right. All right, pound shop, get in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to my Laguna, which is this side, high end, and I've got my Real Techniques brush, and these cr brushes cost around $9.99 from the Real Techniques counter. Can you say that? Okay. Um, so, gonna be trying that out. And again, it's an angled brush just to suit the pound shop one. The difference is this is a pound and this is 9 .99. The NARS one is very, very pigmented compared to the pound shop one, as you can tell. You can see a difference now. You can see that that side is very pigmented compared to this side, like this. Okay, this difference is basically. Okay, so going on to, oh my God, I was just gonna do eyebrows, but please tell me I got something to do with my eyebrows. Great. That was a fail. So I totally forgot to get something from the pound shop for my eyebrows. So, I'm just not gonna do my eyebrows because it's not fair to do my high-end eyebrow and not my pound shop one. So, we're just gonna scratch that one out because I'm such a fail in life. But we're gonna move on so to So, I went to pound shop section and I looked through the eyeshadows, blah, 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 blah. And I found this one. This is Pink Champagne 4 eyeshadow. And it looks like this. It's very, very beautiful. A pound 
compared to the Urban Decay one, which is 30, 38 pounds 50, and I'm gonna be use yeah, so I'm gonna be using this one here, and this one is called Virgin from the Urban Decay palette, naked compared to so basically this is gonna be the pound shop one, and that's what's gonna be high end. So let's get back to zoom on. you guys in, so you guys can have a little close up. So this is the pound shop one here. Yeah? I feel like I have to keep on reminding you guys in case you guys forget, but then again I'm reminding myself so. Ooh, pigmented. Wow, this is actually very pigmented. Can you guys even see that? Like, wow, it's really pigmented. This is actually not bad. This is actually really not bad at all. One pound. One pound, guys, and it's actually quite cute. I see you punch up, I see you. Now I'm gonna move on to the high end and I've got Virgin. And I'm gonna pop that onto the next eye. Ooh la la. I actually didn't do bad at all in comparing colours, did I? I didn't do bad at all comparing colours. They actually came out exactly the same. There we go. Obviously the Urban Decay is a bit more pigmented, but you know, I didn't do bad there, did I? So how I like to do my makeup personally, I like to finish off my eyes and then go for the concealer. So I'm gonna leave the concealer for now and I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. Our shop actually has an eyeliner for one freaking pound. One pound. So here we go. This is the Makeup Gallery Pro Pro Liquid Liner. That looks like this and this is a pound pair in there. So let's give that a try. They bloody seal the stuff like flipping. It's gold. Ugh. Okay, I'm in. I'm in, guys. I'm in. So, gonna go into my pound shop one. So, this cost a pound, guys. The brush is tiny. Can you guys see that? I mean, I don't know how I feel about it because I like thick liners. So, oh my god, it's very liquidy. Wow. Very liquidy. <laughs> Very liquidy, must I say. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I guess it's good if you're quite new at the whole eyeliner thing and you don't know how to apply your liner. I think it's quite quite easy to apply to be fair and it dries it dries off quite quick even though it's very liquidy not bad not bad really not bad for a pound though so here you go i just finished my eyeliner off because it's only fair to finish it off properly um i'm i'm actually all right with it you know to be fair this is actually a decent eyeliner what do you guys have in my storage at the moment that's slightly high end is a super cat uh, liquid black liner and this is six pounds compared to a pound again it's not very high end you can get them from the drugstore but it's just the makeup that i have around me right now okay so they both look completely different because this super cat Felt tip is a lot thicker than the other one. The other one, the wand is tiny, literally. So that's a epic fail because one is thick and one is completely thin and tiny. So this video is turning into a flop and yeah, okay, we're just gonna get on with the video now. Oh my god, that's that's a complete fail, guys. It's just a complete fail. It's okay. So for mascara, the only makeup I have in my makeup bag at the moment is a L'Oreal and this costs $9.99 from the shops compared to a pound. Um, I can't really say it's high end because it's not a drugstore but literally I'm limited with what makeup I have on me at the moment but I guess this will do compared to a pound so let's give this a try shall we. So this is my high end one, let's just get that out of the way. Okay, so that's my L'Oreal one, and now we're gonna try the Pound Shop one. And this is called Plump Up The Volume. I get it. <laughs> Let's just give this a try, shall we? 
So it's quite a big bottle and it says apply generously for plumped up lashes conditioning formula enriched with some next names but yeah let's just give this a try it's quite a cute little brush so this is not doing anything for my lashes literally um it seems very dry like you know when you get your brush out it's usually wet but this is very dry that sounds wrong but you guys get the gist right <laughs> You guys be the judge, but which one is more flattery? I think I have an idea, but... Okay, so now we're gonna move on to concealer. And my MAC concealer, this is a Pro Longwear concealer, and this is an NW20. This cost £18, and the pound shop is a pound, obviously, and this is Conceal Natural Coverage. So let's pop this on first. I love this concealer, it does amazing things. It really highlights underneath your eyes and it's just so beautiful. Again, what I like to do is I like to conceal a bit underneath my contour line. I'm using half my nose. <laughs> Half my nose concealer, half not. Okay, can we just talk about how this concealer makes you just look gorgeous and like flawless, like everything, all your blemishes is hidden, your eyes are just like automatically just bam, awaken. So yeah, now we're just gonna go on to the stick formula type. Ah, bloody things. Basically, I'm gonna be trying this now. Um, I got this in shade Ivory One. Whoa, this is a bit bright. Okay, I thought this might be this my sh shade, but let's just give it a try, shall we? <laughs> yeah, man, this is well white. This is so light. Meh. <laughs> oh my god, I applied too much. It doesn't feel really nice. quite creamy but um I don't know I don't know guys what do you guys think okay I look like a ghost back to the ghost demeanor yay move on to lips and for the pound shop one I've got the makeup gallery rose 2 this is called pout it out whatever you say pound shop <laughs> oh my god this doesn't feel like a lip liner, it feels very sharp. It feels like a pencil, like a literal pencil. Ooh. Ah! Bloody hell, that was really sharp. Like glide on, this does not glide on at all. It's very sharp. So for that, I am gonna be using the MAC Mirror and this is £15.50 compared to a pound. So guys, this half of my face costed me 180 pounds, 48 exactly. And this side of my face, the Primark side, costed me exactly 10 pounds. Wow, mind boggling to actually think of. So you can really see the differences between a really natural side which costs a tenner and a more dramatic side that costs 180 pounds. You honestly think that there is makeup out there for a pound that can do the job perfectly fine. It just comes to show that you really don't need really high-end makeup to recreate um, makeup looks. So this is a comparison. This is the high-end side and this is the pound shop side so i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup it was very fun to recreate and um, i had a lot of fun i hope you guys did too if you guys did don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe down there because i upload one video every other day so you guys can stay tuned to the regular uploads and you can guys can get notified when i upload and if you guys want me to create the Primark try and Primark makeup versus something else then do let me know because it's something I want to look into guys so much for following me and I'll see you guys in my next one